back to the channel, everybody. Today, we're going to be improving our newly purchased surplus handgun. Um, so I just got in one of the Beretta 81s from Classic Firearms, one of their, this was quote unquote their hand-picked model, and it looks really good. Um, there are a couple things though. Uh, this gun you can see has import markings on the bottom and I can already have, I already tested this to show you what's gonna happen. Um, the magazine, obviously magazines are rough, so the mag's got some, some finish wear on it. Um, and then if you see the unboxing video that they did, whoever, uh, imported these, whoever sent these for importation, just took all these guns, threw them in boxes, like cardboard boxes, stacked next to each other, and they just all dinged into each other. So there's lots of wear on the on the, all the edges. There's the import mark, there's wear down here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use some aluminum black to blacken up all those little marks and make this gun look eh, somewhat new again. This is already in good shape. This one in particular is already in good shape. But um, aluminum black, only works obviously on aluminum so this gun will be perfect the frame on this is aluminum so this will be a perfect uh, use for aluminum black the slide if you got dings on your slide you can go and pick up like cold blue or something like that and cold blue will work for little dings on the slide as well but my slide is actually in very good shape so we're just gonna take away see how best we can take away the uh, import marks and get rid of some of the the uh, the chipping and stuff on the outside. So let's let's bring you guys in real close and I'll show you what we're doing. So here's what you got. You can see that there are small little dings and chips and there's an import mark there. Um, down here you can see the, the, the dings on the bottom there. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll show you how I would clean this up. I'm gonna do it, show you a couple of them, I'll, then I'll do the whole thing off camera and come back and show you what it looks like. So. What you'll need, some sort of, hold on, let me zoom back out, zoom back out, there you go. Some sort of um, degreaser, isopropyl alcohol will work, or acetone should work pretty well. You will also need your blackening agent, so this is aluminum black. Um, if you're going to be doing the slide, you'll probably need, make sure this is in focus, you'll probably end up needing um, a bluing agent. A little bit of quad dot steel wool, there you go. And um, I like using uh, Q-tips. Q-tips allow you to soak up a lot of that fluid and then put it where you need it. So focus back in on the gun and I'll start cleaning it up and showing you how we're gonna do this. So you can see some of the marks like here, we'll say there. It's a nice bright shiny mark that you guys can see. It's really, really straightforward. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is take your steel wool and lightly, lightly rub that mark to kind of brush the finish back up. Take your acetone, the acetone. Take your, um, whatever you're using to degrease everything. Degrease the area, let it dry. And then all you have to do is take your, your bluing agent. So for this, we're using aluminum black. Um, be can, can, kind of careful with this stuff. It is an acid, so it can't burn holes through stuff. But um, go ahead and sit it on there. Let it go for a second. You can see it's already turning this nice and black. So this will take maybe 15, 20 seconds to work. You're gonna wipe it off and put another little coat on. See how it's getting nice and dark now. So I just like to keep rubbing it in. Um, remove the old one, rub in some fresh stuff and it'll keep darkening that aluminum all the way down. So we'll fast forward here uh, about 30 seconds and I will show you how it looks. That's where the mark was, and you can see it's darkening up real nicely. A little more there, a little more darken it some more. And this is basically all we're gonna do. You could sit at, uh, this works really well, sit in front of your TV, uh, take some aluminum black and work your way around the whole gun, darken up everything, and it should look pretty good. Um, another good spot where you can see these mags, mags are always, they always have these bright spots on them because they get knocked around and whatnot. But like um, up here, this whole area here is, in the white, so we'll, we'll add some aluminum black to that, and you'll see it start bubbling. And, oh, sorry guys, you'll see it start bubbling and corroding the aluminum and darkening it for you. And you can put a good drop on it. Man, I'm sorry, I keep hitting you guys because like I'm trying to go under the camera like that. Put a good drop on it and just let it sit and work. 
But anyways, we're gonna do the same thing. So while that's working, I'm gonna go around that whole thing by myself later. While that's working, we are going to work on the uh, right here on the import mark. Cause that's the big thing. Everybody wants to get rid of the import mark. So you can see I did a little bit of a test to uh, make sure this would work right. All you're gonna do is take your steel wool, scratch up that import mark. Um, then you're gonna degrease it. Let me grab a little like that. Go ahead and degrease the whole thing. And then we're gonna add a nice coat of aluminum black. And um, let that alcohol dry up. Grab a good coat of aluminum black and we're gonna blacken the whole thing. So I'm gonna put, oh, that had the alcohol on it. We wanna put, there we go. Coat the whole thing in aluminum black. And it'll start blackening up that whole thing. You see it's already turning black. So like that, you can see it's bubbling and turning dark. Um, but anyway, so that's all we're gonna do. I'm gonna sit down off camera and try to complete this whole gun. You guys can see all the little dings and marks and your spots back here on the, ooh, let me go out. You can see all the spots back here on the butt plate, but we're gonna go through darken everything we can on this gun and I'll show you what it looks like once we're done. And there we are, bada bing, bada boom. Nice and cleaned up. Um, all of the little chips and marks that were in here, all colored away. The logo itself, let me see, make sure you guys can see that logo. That logo itself is fairly well hidden. Uh, the lights are gonna obviously catch it, so you're gonna read it no matter what, but um, in regular lighting, it's not very pronounced. You can see like that, when I sit it down like that, um, it disappears. All the marks over here are all gone. Um, we did all the back strap, the front strap, the mag well, and the mag, the base of the magazine. So that's pretty much it. Um, go out, get yourself some aluminum, alumahide or aluminum hide, whatever it's called, aluminum black, that's what it is. Grab some of that, you can get it from Amazon um, or like your, your big fish store if you got one nearby. Um, but that's pretty much it. Clean your gun up, make it look nice and new again. Make it look shiny, especially for you guys that got some of the like the lower tier ones, the kind of the junkier ones. Um, you can clean them up real easy. It's aluminum frame. Clean those all those marks up and they're gonna look beautiful again. So next up, we're gonna be doing something cool. I'm not gonna do it on this video, obviously, but um, I'm waiting for some parts to come in so we can reload for this because 32 ACP is too damn expensive. But anyways, if you guys like this, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you are interested in this kind of content, you can subscribe. I'm trying to bring more and more out. It's, yeah, it's been slow. This past month or so has been kind of slow for me, but we got some more stuff on the way. So subscribe if you want to see some really cool reloading, 32 ACP reloading experiments that I'm going to try. Um, but that'll be coming up soon. So I'll catch you guys later.